Well, there we go. I'm coming back now. Coming back to the car. The litage is uh, absolutely gorgeous. As you hopefully you can probably tell. And there's still more plants on the track. Oh, some of these. Go home and uh, make myself a nice cup of coffee. I think I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to make up some mashed potato tonight, I reckon, and have it with some leftover that stew. So it'll be one serve of stew and one serve of mashed potato and mix it in sort of thing. Yeah. I think because uh, stew always tastes better the, the second and third night. It's the microbes chomping through the uh, material sort of thing. Nothing stagnant, nothing sus, but you know. Yeah. Oh. Oh well. well hopefully by uh, spring we will see some action, and uh, hopefully the doubling of the nitrogen content of the soil uh, will hopefully double the well the size and robustness of the plants I suppose because all the books say nit nitrogen is the key atom when it comes to plant growth and nutrition there's no element really above nitrogen when it comes into plant physiology and growth so I'm assuming the books are right Nature hasn't found a way of converting carbon to nitrogen or nitrogen into carbon you know, using some strange enzyme, you know, a funneling enzyme that funnels protons and together or something and adds them to other atoms. I mean, the amount of energy needed to do that, but then again, could you do it on a slow cascade sort of system? I don't know. Is it the fact that we just haven't had the length of time to come up with something, you know, like biomimicry or something? We haven't... We're, we're too close-minded to think of, sort of something like that, but where the evolution has just got eons to work on something until eventually it could come up with some sort of funneling system where the funnel pushes these things together on the micro scale, where the forces, you know, you know aren't so comparatively great I suppose you know what I mean so on a micro scale you know you, you, you got something that, some sort of enzyme that can pinch something together on the micro you know, so you got like two protons or something and, and some uh, changeable enzyme that can just put them together and just keeps doing that you know like doing 300 uh, you know, uh, making new atoms every 300, 300 every second or something, or maybe it takes longer, you don't know. It's just an idea, you know. Mother Nature's had eons to work on things, you know. Maybe there is something out there in the environment that's capable of doing that. And because it's such on the micro scale, you just don't, you don't sense the heat given out. Because it's on the micro scale. And maybe that's what make, allows it to work because if it was on a macro scale the heat would just kill anything but because it's on the on the micro scale the heat dissipates so quickly the organism is just about able to cope with it on the micro scale I don't know it's just a, just the idea that's been running through my mind for a number of years I just thought you know, it's strange how the, the the charcoal seems to disappear from the uh, the Australian environment so quickly you know it's not you know a couple of years you go back and Where's the charcoal? You know? And as I said, you don't get any bloody koalas coming into the vet coughing up lumps of coke, so you know, it doesn't seem to be, and you don't meet any charcoal collectors in the bush, you know, on a regular basis. You know, every time you go out to a bushfire site, you, you bump into the odd person carrying a bag with a whole bag of charcoal, because you know, he's been picking it up off the ground. So, you know, slowly you start logically ticking off the boxes, well, it's not an animal eating the charcoal, it's not someone collecting the charcoal, and you keep going through and you think, well, where is the char What is removing the charcoal from the environment? And you dig down, it's not in the soil, you know. It's not being incorporated as far as we know, or if it was, it's, it's so quick. You, you'd expect to see some sort of organism on the surface of the soil, 
you know, burrowing or digging. You know, there doesn't seem to be any worms or anything around. You know, it just doesn't make sense or add up how quickly the charcoal disappears in the, from the environment, whether it's going into the environment in some other form, I don't know. But um, anyway, we're back at the car and I think we're done for this one. As I said, I think we'll come back and do the other one at the end of the week sometime. And they're predicting glorious sunnies like this, so, you know, now nah, why kill yourself, you know? I'm not the one that's supposed to die now. No, it's our pernicious man in the West. He's up for the three score and ten fairly shortly, I would say. If not sooner, hopefully. Okay, over and out.